the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. The FDEP is a regulatory agency in Florida. Um, they're taxed with maintaining Florida's natural resources and generally enforcing environmental laws. That's their main responsibilities as an agency. Um, under that falls water management, which obviously leads into the Everglades and the topic of this presentation. Uh, just a brief history of, of water management in, in the state of Florida. Um, dating back to development, early development of the state, there's been just poor, poor environmental risk assessment associated with development projects, urbanization, any, any type of, of large-scale industrial activity. Um, it, it started that way a century ago and continued up until around the 1960s when the FDEP was, was eventually formed. Um, at that point, people decided that it was worth it to make more of an effort towards restoration projects in terms of the Everglades and water management because the, par the, the problems associated with it became more apparent. Um, the issue with that is that there's been multiple restoration initiatives that just have had varying levels of, of success and it, it's just been it's generally unproductive uh, up, up until now. That brings us to the Comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan, which is the newest major initiative in terms of water management for the Everglades and just a restoration project. Um, this this one specifically, is SERP is is what it's been been you know labeled as. Um, it, it's a series of multiple projects aimed at at restoring the natural flow of the Everglades, which it, it's a sheet flow. That that is a is a very rare type of flow, and as far as I know, it it's unique to the Everglades. Um, that that water flow is responsible for regulating all the ecosystems down here in South Florida, South and Central Florida, and it just provides of uh, mostly all, most of the fresh water that that we use. Um, SERP spans sixteen counties. It's eight thousand square miles. It's it's pretty much all of central to south florida um the the main bodies of fresh water affected by this plan are, are the florida and biscayne aquifers biscayne is where pretty much everybody in south florida gets their drinking water from um and this is also the most expensive environmental restoration project in history it's a multi-billion dollar project um expected to take multiple years to complete It's worth mentioning when discussing SERP and the FDEP that the uh, political atmosphere in the state of Florida right now under the Rick Scott administration it has not been the most friendly towards environmental policy. Um, it it's, was revealed earlier this year that Florida Department of um, Environmental Protection workers weren't were told not to use phrases such as climate change in their memos and when conducting research because he believed that it wasn't scientifically accurate um, and th this has drawn controversy obviously from from scientists and environmentalists in the state for which is pretty much a battleground for sea level rise and, and salt water intrusion into fresh water um, it, it's very relevant when discussing environmental projects of this scope so that's just to give a background information on the state of affairs. While SERP is definitely the biggest and most well-funded Everglades restoration project to date, that it hasn't come without controversy or without critique. This is mostly coming from people who believe that this plan was, was set in place not with the intent of restoring the environment, but rather protecting fresh water for human purposes. At the end of the day, it's the same thing, but 
what what the issue people have is that these these practices that the US Army Corps of Engineers who is responsible for it, these projects and for you know the the grunt work building canals etc a lot of their engineering practices just haven't had a lot of field tests so the results are are undetermined at this point and people are you know obviously cautious that with this much money being poured in you, you want to see results and uh, you know that that can only come if if people take this this project seriously and if it was inputted with well with with good intentions Yeah, go, going forward with with SERP and any any other Everglades restoration projects that that will inevitably be put in place. Hopefully, this is the last. But you know, barring that, uh, certain things have to happen in order to have you know the environment be restored to a a state where the natural ecology of the entire region isn't at risk, while being able to Pop to support the population of South Florida, of South and Central Florida. Um, that starts with with just legislative support for the FDEP and for environmental projects such as SERP, which has obviously they've taken a step forward with just financially supporting this initiative. Um, unlike previous uh, restoration attempts. SERP, it has to be a, a very cooperative approach towards restoration. It can't be one water management district doing one thing and another water management district doing another thing. This has to be a cohesive effort from from all counties affected it to they to you know get results. They all have to be on the same page. And the main reason for this, like I said, is the fresh water. Um this this natural flow of the Everglades is is a very important in the water cycle down here, and it it restores or aquifers is where we get our drinking water, and that maintaining this ecosystem is a vital aspect to ensuring that we don't have salt water leaching in from underground, pushing out the fresh water, and eventually leading to South Florida being uninhabitable for us. So, you know, the FDEP is in charge of a huge project. And um, hopefully they receive the political backing and support that they'll need to get it done.